Hi, so this is um, a tutorial to show you how to create a whiteboard animation using Apple Motion 4. Uh, you could probably do this in uh, Motion 5 or Motion 3, the techniques will be pretty much the same, um, but this is obviously using Motion 4. So um, basically to begin with, uh, you'll need to have a folder or a group, sorry, um, called text. Uh, one, a group called hand, which you're going to place your hand in. Um, I got this off the net just to try this out. I've only just worked out how to do this. So um, obviously if you're going to do this uh, for a professional job, then you need to get all your um, images up to scratch. So, But this is just for sort of demonstration purposes. Um, so I'm going to start by just creating a background. So I'll create a new group first. Um, I'm going to drag that to the bottom and I'm going to call it G, like that. Uh, and in there, I'm going to put a white background in, so just really basic, uh, like that. I've got a bit of drop shadow on the marker pen hand, um, but obviously that's up to you. You can do that. Um, you can do that by going into properties, clicking on the layer, going into properties, and then you've got a drop shadow here. Um, with adjustments that you can make. Um, so basically the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the text group, um, get the text tool and I'm going to write some text which isn't going to show up as, at first because it defaults at white. So I'm just going to type how to create a white board animation. Uh, okay, so select that, and I'll make that black so it can so you can see it like that. Um, and then I'm just going to adjust the size of that, and so go to format, and I'm just going to make that a bit bigger like that. Okay, so I'll just center that a little bit, and just to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to hide the marker pen. Uh, the hand and mark pen at the moment. So basically the first thing to do is highlight your text group and we want to create um, a bezier line all the way over the text. So to do that I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see it and when you do this you have to do it in the way that you would actually write the text on if you were drawing if you were writing it on paper. So I'm going to do it the way that I would write it. Um, but obviously you think about that, you know, in terms of how you want this to look when it's drawing on. So we start like this. Um, obviously I'm going to go through this as quickly as possible because it's a bit boring to watch. Um, but basically you can do this as accurate as you like. And you want to get this fairly accurate because this bezier is also going to be used to um, add an image mask to the text later on. And the more accurate you, you are now with this, um, the better your image mask will work. Um, and then when I tried this out initially, I kind of got this bit a bit wrong really in a sense in, in that the... Um, image mask didn't quite work. So you just need to think about that really. Um, so we'll put that across there, just really rushing through this now just to get this done. And this will all become clear in the end what's going on. If you're new to motion and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about or doing here, then I suggest you go and look at some of the tutorials just for getting started. But 
in all honesty, this isn't actually that complicated once you've got the basic grasp of motion. Um, and you can obviously do this in After Effects um, in a fairly similar way, really. There are programs out there that allow you to do these animations. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what they're called, but um, I like the idea of figuring out this in a more professional workflow so you can edit it, add other things into it, um, and kind of make it your own a little bit. So, nearly there. Not doing a particularly great job of this actually, but we'll see. Do that last one. Okay, right, so that's pretty much that covered. Um, now, the next step is to just sh show the hand again. Um, basically, we want to create a motion path now, so the hand will actually, uh, or the tip of the marker pen actually will actually follow this Bezier line that I've just drawn on here. So the best way to do that is go to the hand, click on the layer, um, and we will go add behavior, um, basic motion, and motion path. So what you'll start with is just this line here um, which basically is the default motion path but if we go up here to this menu and select geometry instead then we can take the bezier that we've just drawn and drag that into the source well and what you should find is that the um, wherever your anchor point is um, on your hand image or whatever is should um, snap to the beginning of your bezier um, and to create and to sorry change the anchor point you go to here and um, you can just make basically make slight adjust, adjustments there but that seems okay um so basically that's that and what you should find is that your hand traces the line of the text now and um, that's going fairly slowly so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the motion path layer and I'm going to shorten it so we end up with something a little bit quicker which is I don't know it might work it might not but for the purposes of this you get the idea so basically the next job now is to take that bezier that we did before and hide it uh, no sorry don't hide it yet um, my mistake duplicate it um, then you can hide the original one uh, and what we're going to do now is just sort of double click on your bezier your new bezier layer that you just duplicated go to the shape menu highlight the or enable the outline and just take the width up until you're just slightly wider than the text the font um, and I just need to take that and put it into there. Yeah, so sorry, the duplicate bezier needs to be within the text group. Yeah, I'm still feeling my own way through this actually. Um, so basically you should end up now with the text all covered up by this 
um, outline that you've just created using the original a duplication of the original Bezier. Um, so now what we want to do is go back down to the go back to the text um, and we want to right click on it and go add image mask. So now we've got an image mask attached to the text and I'm going to basically drop this bezier over there like that. Okay, so nothing is apparent yet, but we'll get there. Uh, next job is to go back to the bezier, uh, which has been automatically deselected because we've just created a mask out of it. Um, but we want to show that again um, and here, this section here, we can set um, the last point offset for that shape, the Bezier shape. So I'm going to take that all the way left. Now, as I do that, you'll notice this changes here. Um, so we're going to create a keyframe, uh, two keyframes now. So the first one um, at frame zero, and then I'm going to move this all the way to the last frame of the motion path and I'm gonna move that to there like that okay and now we should see let's deselect that again um, we should see the hand writing the text on and that depends on how well you've obviously traced that uh, that line, but that is basically it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.